All right, here we go, y'all. Rifle man, bullet bulletins. Friday night. You know, I've been off uh, Facebook. I've been in the 30 day jail. You know, my prison stand stay deep in the Facebook jail. But um, I'm back. You know, I've been productive. Why I wasn't on Facebook, but anyway, and I'm uh kind of tap into why I got kicked out or I got put in Facebook jail. Now, I got put in Facebook jail for using the term. Let me just say raccoon, okay? And you just drop the RA. So every time I say raccoon, y'all know what I mean. All right, so um, I seen a post with Academic and that girl, that guy, uh, Charleston White. So, you know, I made a post about another one raccoon posting another raccoon. Okay, now let's go into, and I don't think that, you know, it's racist. It might be offensive, but racist for a black person to call another black person a raccoon, you know, because this is a way that we have to keep ourselves in line. Now, let's just take it back. You can see in the back, it says step and fetch it. Okay. Back before they were letting black people uh, play these prominent roles like we have now, um, you could only be like a janitor, uh, a maid, you know, some some helping hand. You never could be a leading role. And then you had to do, you know, a lot of shucking and jiving. And you don't know what that is. Look it up. They they used to uh, say that you had to smile a lot, show your teeth. You know, uh, I don't want to really name a lot of names, but you can go back into the 40s and the 30s and see a lot of uh, black actors doing this. Um, you know, buck your eyes out a little bit. You know, they, they call it jigabooing as well. So now a lot of our black people, we have fought against uh, people getting on by doing this, you know, ever since that this started, you know, back in the day. But now 2022, it seems that this has restarted and it is now reoccurring after all the years of us not doing it. Let's we can even fast forward to the 1970s and say, uh, you know what they, they used to call exploitation films. So, you know, it went from the so-called the shucking and jiving to, uh, you know, exploiting ourselves as far as gangsters, pimps, hustlers, whores, street walkers, whatever, things of that nature. Now, what's happening now, once again? All right. So, and the reason I bring this up is because we have a lot of people starting to get their raccoon on in 2022. And it's slightly disparaging. Like, I think we need to have a better mix of what's going on musically and entertainment-wise. Um, don't set us back another hundred years you know, because a person is funny, you know, like, uh, here's an example of who's probably the biggest, uh, raccoon. And that would be, uh, say uncle ruckus, right? Okay. Well now we have a real, real life uncle ruckus, Charleston white. Now Charleston white, that's a whole nother thing. And, uh, your boy Kanye, he's been doing, you know, a little bit of raccooning a, a little bit, but you know, I think his level is a little bit deeper than, um, that other guy, you know, at least he has some talent and, uh, you know, he does say some things. Of course he says some wrong things and rub people the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down this series and four, I think I'm going to do uh, this one is about, you know, raccooning a uh, little historical uh, history about it as we just went through. Um, and I'm going to do uh, one about the, the real movement of the BLM and how it got jacked by the corporation. I think I'm going to do one on Charleston White and I believe I'm going to do one on Kanye West. So I think I'll all hit back to back to back, but I had to start with this one first so people understand what's going on. And historically, we have fought against uh, raccooning and jigabooing, um, step and fetch it. Uh, you know, like I say, I don't want to say all the names because I don't always like to, you know, put people out on front street like that, even if they're gone and dead. But this was one of the most popular. Uh, you guys, I know the black people know about Sambo. 
Go look it up. Then you'll understand, you know, eating chicken and wild man, like this whole sort of vibe. Like the ancient mama when she, you know, had the rag on her head. And then, you know, they had to update the uh, the pancake box to make her look more modern. You understand what I'm saying? Because it was people like uh, Sidney Poitier, Harry Belafonte, back in the day, they didn't do, you know, any raccooning or shucking and jiving. They were prominent male stars. So, I think if you're going to do this sort of stuff, you need to have a better balance. And just because you're funny, that don't mean that, that you aren't setting us back, you know, 100 years with, with your, uh, your sucking and jiving and your jigaboing. So be very careful about, you know, who you think is a leader, who you think is on top, you know, who you think points are valid. Make sure that they aren't a raccoon. And with that, I'm out. Bullet bulletins, bite out.